Hello fellow investors, travelers, adventurers, and hopefully curious people. My name is Robin Booth. I am the winner of the International Mega Entrepreneur Award presented to me in 2017 in Los Angeles, as well as the South African Investor of the Year Award 2018. I have businesses in the USA as well as here in South Africa, and I invest in the USA as well as here in South Africa. I have multi-let student housing, commercial ventures, uh, low-income housing, as well as Airbnb. But most importantly, I like to see myself as a person who wishes to experience life and therefore have ownership of my time, I have the freedom to travel, and most importantly, have the money and the funds to do so. And today, I want to share with you the one biggest thing that helped me to get there. But more importantly, I want to share with you how you can do this too. The people who say something cannot be done should not stop those who are already doing it. So although you may think you have heard all the smart strategies to create wealth through property investing, and perhaps you've hit a few roadblocks in your own property investing, I'd like for you to have an open and curious mind as I show you my journey and more importantly prove to you that this is something you can do too. It's a great opportunity to be online here with you at the Virtual Property Show hosted by Private Property. Both myself and many of my coaching students have been guest speakers on their webinars and property podcasts and love their emphasis to keep sharing strategies that help every South African become empowered in increasing their income or expanding their portfolios and of course taking back control of creating their own economy. Although I only have a short amount of time with you today, at the end of that time, you're going to have a whole new perspective of what could be possible for you. Maybe it's more income, maybe more travel, maybe it's funds for the education of your children, perhaps even living in a beautiful house for free. I have only enough time today to outline a few of these strategies. So if you are wanting to find out more, then just click on the link below to get free access to my presentation on the seven profitable strategies to Airbnb your property for more income. But my journey goes back a couple of years to when I had decided that I want to live right on the beach in Cape Town in front of one of the best kitesurfing destinations in the world, Bloberg Strand, because I love kitesurfing. I'd wanted to be on a, uh, on a position where I could look out of my house, look across the water, and if the wind was blowing, I could literally just uh, walk outside and go kitesurfing. That meant I needed to find some place along Kite Beach uh, which is one of the world's best kitesurfing destinations. The challenge for me is that I could not afford to go and live there. As we all know, Cape Town has very expensive property prices, especially if you're wanting to live on the water. So I found a property that looked like it would fit my needs. And I said to the landlord, I cannot afford to live here directly, but I don't want to have to try and negotiate you down. What I want to do is I want to pay you the full price to rent this property and all I'm asking is that I can sublet this property out on Airbnb for two weeks, in other words, over the December-January time to other kite surfers such that that extra income will enable me to pay that difference between what I can afford and what you're actually asking. The landlord agreed and very quickly uh, we set this up. We enjoyed living there and of course what we found is that that extra surplus income covered what we needed to pay for the rest of the year's rent, um, the deficit that we had. So this got me to think, well, seeing as though we're in this beautiful house, why don't we actually try just rent out one of the rooms? I mean, Airbnb seemed to work. Maybe we could actually generate more income during the year. So that is what we did. We took the front room, uh, we listed it on Airbnb, and we looked to see if we could generate some income. Here are some photographs of the room. As you can see, it's not a self-catering room. This was just a bedroom with an ensuite that we soundproofed the door leading to the rest of the house. And this is what we generated. Over a 12 month period, we generated 152,000 Rand. That's a significant, significant amount of money that if you look at it against the, the actual cost of the rent of the house, you can see that the rent for the house was, was 19,500 per month. The Airbnb income was 152, which meant that there was an 81,000 rand shortfall, or that actually equated to us living on a beachfront house for only 6,700 rand rent per month. So that was a really good start. But of course, then we thought, well, 
what are we going to do over the Christmas New Year? Why can't we actually repeat what we did before and see what we could generate then? So we said, okay, let's put the whole house onto Airbnb again. Here are some pictures that we took of the house, listed it on Airbnb, and lo and behold, this is the income that we got over that two-month period, 138,000 Rand. And it was actually over the three-week period of Christmas to January. Just to produce the slide, we could not take a short amount of time. So this really goes to show that it's an incredible model that we were looking at. So if we took a look at the bigger picture and equated this, we saw that, okay, we had an extra 138,000 Rand. Now, we were already 81,000 Rand short from the just the, the, the front room rental. So if we equate that out and we took out the 81,000 Rand, we were left with a positive cash flow of 57,000 Rand and we had paid the whole year's rent, which meant we were living in this beautiful beach house for free in Cape Town, right on the beach, in front of Kite Beach, where I could go and fulfill all my dreams about going out and kite surfing and coming back, dropping my kite, picking up and walking into my house. And we could actually go on this holiday for free because we said, well, what are, where are we going to go for these three weeks over the Christmas New Year? And we went to Thailand. So we started sharing this with some of the other people from around the country. Here we are in Johannesburg sharing it with a group of my students and as we can see the arrow is pointing to Martin. Now Martin heard what we were doing, thought well I've already got this house in Pretoria and he said I'm going to see if I can adapt this and change it, uh, change the rooms and actually make this better and this is his story. So, you know, we're talking about house hacking, right? You know, it's how to make this profitable. Uh, so, I mean, by the grin in your face, I always think that, you know, so let me ask you, so how profitable is it for you to have done this where you've got different units as well as a tenant who is managing your property for yeah. you? Well, if, if we run like a uh, low season time, I'm doing double, wow. uh, double as when I had a tenant in here to the top top right on in this area well yeah, so that's like in low season right low season so in high season you must just you know you must have positive cash flow yeah. like really way more than anything yes, else yes. right that uh, basically allows me now to expand yep. my so now that got us to think well if we were living in this house for free and we were renting it from a landlord and subletting a part of it what would happen if we actually found an apartment and decided to do this as a proper business model a rent to rent arbitrage where we're going to rent from a landlord and then sublet on Airbnb without having to live there because we're just using this as a property that we're managing, that we're controlling, but we're going to generate extra profit. Here is an example. We found one that was already furnished, so we didn't have to buy any furniture, didn't have to put a lot of money down except the first month's rent. And of course, we listed it on Airbnb and take a look again that over a six month period, it generated 165,000 Rand. Now, remember, this is just the total income. We still had to take into account that we were having to pay rent, having to pay Wi-Fi, having to pay electricity. But look at that cash that it generated. It left us with 93,000 Rand extra income over that six month period, which equated to 15,500 Rand per month passive income. Now, this is something for us to wake up, wake up about. This got us to think, well, if we can do it with one apartment, why can we not do it with another? And the best thing about this is some of you may be thinking, well, how do I have to do this? Like, I don't have any expertise in websites. I don't have any expertise in marketing. I don't have any expertise in all these fancy things that need to digitize us. Well, you don't need any of that. Airbnb does all of that for you. In fact, I really love how Airbnb says that you can list your own property in three simple steps. And these slides are taken directly from the Airbnb website. So how do you be an Airbnb host? Well, you create your listing. You take some photographs, you put them up, you write a title, you put a description of what your guests could expect in coming to your place. Your guests will go online, they look to see your um, property amongst all the other ones to see which one they're looking for because Airbnb will just present and say, oh, I see you want to go to Bloberg Strand. Well, here are a whole lot of properties that you might be interested in and that you can go and stay in. They then book and they will therefore uh, make payments through the Airbnb so you don't have to handle any of that yourself. You then welcome the guests at the date that they have said that they're going to come in. Your guests are going to stay 
and at the end you're going to get paid. As simple as that, A, B, and B. So step one, two, and three, this is how it's going to work, and this is how to make, uh, make it really easy for you. Here, for example, is the page of one of our units. As you can see, we didn't sort out the layout. We didn't do anything here except just upload our, upload our photographs, and A, B, and B gets to position everything and really make it look special and incredibly attractive, which means that we know that any form of success always leaves a trail. And all you have to do is follow those people who have gone before you so that you too can succeed. Here, this is a picture of myself in Nepal. My walking stick is actually pointing to Mount Everest, the highest place in, on the earth. Now, I wasn't going to climb Mount Everest that year. We were gonna do some high altitude climbing just to the right of it at Island Peak, but how we got there, especially myself, without any experience, is getting the right people to show us the route. And that is exactly what I am sharing with you today, is the route and the strategies that you too can use so that you can unlock the potential of your property or unlock the potential of someone else's property such that you, such that you can generate increased cash flow and, of course, even expand your portfolio. By putting the right systems and automation in place, I could actually get to travel the world and everything back home could generate income without me. Last year, in 2019, I spent 111 days out of the country two months in Mozambique swimming with whale sharks and dolphins, three trips to beautiful Bali, two trips to the United States, getting to meet some incredible people in Los Angeles, as well as a trip to Canada to see the Niagara Falls, surfing with Kelly Slater during the World Championship Tour, and of course I got to spend some amazing time in the Rocky Mountains at ski resorts, as well as some ice fishing on some frozen rivers. Of course also Thailand needed to be in the list and kayaking through and around some of those islands, but of course also staying within South Africa and traveling to some amazing spaces and places within our country, and of course getting to speak on the Robert Kiyosaki stage and share more of these successful strategies. So I continued to share these success strategies with more and more people from around the country. Johannesburg, Pretoria, uh, Durban, Cape Town. And as you can see, here is a class full of people. And I'm going to share some of these stories with you because they themselves were investors saying they want to access the life that they love to live. Here is Santosh and his wife, Cindy. They wanted to buy their first investment property, didn't know what to do saw what I was sharing about Airbnb and decided to follow the same strategy. With the guidelines that I shared with them, they bought their own property and their income from the Airbnb covered all of their expenses, 100% of the bond, all of their rates, taxes, levies, as well as all the other expenses. And this is their story. Cindy and Santos, Congratulations, you've got an amazing Airbnb, right? Thank you. And this is something that you've been working on. And I remember, you know, obviously, when we were time. chatting, you know, there's a bit of intrepidation and nervousness, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about having um, achieved what you set out to do? Well, we listed this place, what, uh, less than seven days ago. Uh, we've already got enough bookings to cover the bond. And I've still got some space for more bookings. So then we'll be have positive cash flow it's amazing, man. In a week. <laughs> I mean, so businesses weak. take two years to do that, and we're doing it in a week. Uh, we can't believe it ourselves. So, I mean, putting it in a week. <laughs> like, I still can't believe it, you know? In a week, positive cash, cash flow. It's crazy. Hajra wanted to do the same. She was, an, she was already an astute investor, had multiple properties, but had never tried the Airbnb model. She bought a property and literally from day one started generating income that again surpassed all of her expenses, so creating a free property for her. And this is her story. You know, there's nothing like when that when the Airbnb chime goes on your phone, right? Exactly. It's like yeah. a booking coming. It's like, I get, I get yes. excited and I, uh, I've got valuable tools. Like there were a lot of questions I had at the back of my mind. How do I market it? Mm. How do I do sort of cleaning services? And... I've actually benefited a lot from that. Good. It was actually quite exciting because it just gave me the push that I needed. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is exciting. I mean, here you are, you, we're in your apartment, right? Where right. you actually bought and now turned into Airbnb. But I always say that proof is in the results and we need to be objective in actually showing that these kind of models work. 
I've showed you that I've done it. I've showed you that my students have done it. But we want something else that's objective to this to actually prove that the strategies that we're implementing, the tips and the techniques to get listed first, to get booked first, to increase our occupation rate are actually valid. Here is actual proof of an independent website that is showing us which were the top properties in our area, and this is the result. And you can imagine they are just gonna be hundreds, if not thousands of Airbnbs along the stretch. And we are in this area here amongst a whole lot of other ones. Now, they say that we should often search for the top properties in our area such that we can see what they're doing correctly and perhaps copy them. So if I go across here and I look at the top properties in Bloberg Strand, we are number one. So we're actually doing something right. And here you can see that our revenue is way above our competitors around us, number two, number three, number four. One of the most overlooked strategies to really use the Airbnb model for is to go and live in a better house that you cannot actually afford if you were just renting it outright. As I shared with you my story, this was around me using the Airbnb strategy to get a beautiful property that would be part paid for by the Airbnb listing. Well, Tanya decided to do the same. She came along on one of our property tours, saw what the possibility of Airbnb could produce, and very quickly went out and did it on her own. And this is her story now. I mean, I can't believe the, the, just the difference from what I thought could happen to what actually is possible. So I'm very excited for, for the potential of what we could be doing. Yeah, and how quickly you can get it going, right? Yeah, I mean, come on, like overnight. Yeah. I didn't want to be to be run by my Airbnb. I wanted it yep. to run on itself and I could still have my life. So what would you then suggest someone watching this who is like also nervous about starting their own, you know, what would you tell them or share with them that would, or that you feel would like allay their concerns or fears into actually just getting this going and starting? If you follow your model, that there is actually nothing to be, to be scared about. Um, it would only be your own mind, your own little voice telling you this can't work. But I mean, if you follow the model, I mean, I had a booking on the very first day. Um, so all of, all of everything that I was procrastinating on was just shattered. Because I mean, it's so easy to do if you just follow the model. And I mean, it's not difficult to follow either. I mean, a toddler can follow that. So what can you actually Airbnb? Well, basically anything. How about a room in a house, which I've shared with you, a private room? It could just be a room separate from the house. Now, it's a separate entrance that's also an ensuite. It could be the standard granny flat or your little garden cottage. The bread and butter of Airbnb, absolutely fantastic. It will pay for over 75% of your running costs and bond costs in your house. You could also do the whole house as an Airbnb, or perhaps do multiple rooms within the house on Airbnb. You could also just do the house for holidays. You could do apartments. You could do farms, you know, those labor cottages. There's a whole lot of different um, other elements that you could turn units into on a farm. And of course, you could do a multi-let like Martin did, where you had a whole lot of different arrangements and really became profitable in doing the Airbnb. The great thing about this model is that you can actually very quickly search online to find out what a property could generate if you listed it on Airbnb. This is not rocket science. You, have, you do not have to speculate. There are uh, websites out there that if you want to know how much your house could potentially earn through Airbnb, you just enter in your address and it will tell you from the surrounding areas as if it was like the comparative market analysis for buying a property, you will have the comparative market analysis for listing your property on Airbnb. That is how much we can actually predict and be safe in creating this model for you to generate extra income. So ladies and gentlemen, fellow investors, uh, adventurers and parents, and I intentionally say uh, adventurers and parents, because I'm speaking to that part of you that knows that you deserve something else, that knows that there is another possibility for you to access and create that life that you love to live, to access greater income, to access an easy way to make things work. If this has piqued your curiosity, then just follow the link below so that you can get direct access to the videos where I show more strategies and more information on how you can do this too. 
Success is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. And there are a lot of people out there that say they want to have success, that say they want more out of life, but are not doing anything about it. This is your opportunity to take advantage right now to actually access a possible strategy that could unlock a whole new future for yourself. Follow the link and within five minutes, you'll get access to my videos where I show all those different strategies so that you too can begin creating the life that you love to live.